As we see a huge growth of people moving to cities, regions becoming mega regions and cities becoming mega cities, we're seeing some, some of the dark side of that effect. Certainly, we see that time is a new currency. People are after that quality time. Being stuck in a traffic jam for hours on end from home, commuting two hours either way, that cannot be a sustainable way to retain and attract people to your city. It has a complete detrimental effect to the quality of life. Urban rail systems provide one of the key solutions to overcome these challenges. Rail will be the only mode which can give that uh, ease of movement within cities and regions. Urban rail networks are a really good asset to help people um, explore their city and find new places and create pockets of growth in, in out-of-town locations. Copenhagen, before the metro was there, it was a totally different city. Now it's a, a metropolis. We can go anywhere. You can move from the posh part of Copenhagen to the very poor part of Copenhagen. You can crisscross in 10 minutes and suddenly we connect with people that we never connected with. And that means that people start using the city in a totally different way. London is a very old city, our streets are quite narrow. And therefore the best way we have in providing capacity to get people to jobs is by rail and underground rail. You need a project like Crossrail to be able to get to the places where people want to work in the centre of town. It is going to bring huge growth just by virtue of having these two nodes there and the development that's happening around them. There are many layers to a regeneration story. Rail, people, skills, good development, quality of life, health and well-being. I think rail is fundamental to that. King's Cross is a prime example of rail good yards that were underdeveloped and have now transformed the district into a really exciting part of town. In Canberra, light rail is being used as a catalyst to revive one of the key entry corridors to uh, the nation's capital. Through our work and engagement on Sydney Light Rail and the delivery of Gold Coast Light Rail, we're seeing more and more city governments seeing light rail as a catalyst for this urban regeneration. When it was constructed, the Seven Line in New York, land was waste, people were moving away from the area because it was dangerous. But with the joining up of that zone back to the rest of Manhattan has really changed all of that. It's important to be a well-connected city. You need good infrastructure and whether that be good power, water, broadband, etc. It is also good transport. What these infrastructures do is they start connecting people in a totally different way.